A rebate on state income taxes, freezing college tuition bills. Those are just a few of the ideas being proposed by Kansas Governor Laura Kelly. She delivered her State of the State address just a few hours ago. KCTV5's Betsy Webster was at the state capitol for the big speech. Governor Kelly named several groups of people that she felt deserved special recognition and support for the strains they have dealt with in recent times. From farmers and ranchers to medical workers, teachers, students, and law enforcement. The governor of the state of Kansas. She touted the largest budget surplus in the state in 40 years and gave ways she plans to leverage that if lawmakers follow through. Today, I'm announcing that my budget includes a total freeze on college tuition increases. The virus took something from our students and we are going to give them something back. One proposal getting a lot of attention involves the sales tax on food. Both Democrats and Republicans want it lowered, yet it hasn't happened. Kelly's opponents note that she vetoed a bill including a 1% decrease in 2019. Now, citing the surplus, she's calling for eliminating the 6.5% tax altogether and suggesting lawmakers are holding off for petty political reasons. Where denying a political opponent a win has become more important than getting things done for the people they represent. Of course, it's a year where COVID must be a big part of the governor's look back and look ahead. She noted the long-term outlook with the latest variant is better than before, but a recent post-holiday surge has put a massive strain on hospitals. I ask that all of you think of your family, your friends, and our frontline healthcare workers. Let's help each other by getting vaccinated, getting your children vaccinated, and getting the third shot. Last week, Kelly issued a 15-day disaster declaration along with two executive orders that would create some staffing flexibility in the short term at hospitals and nursing homes. Tonight, she urged lawmakers to pass legislation in order to extend that beyond that two-week time frame. In Topeka, Kansas, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.